Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Usman Ali and we will solve a couple of numericals related to cash. So these are not like proper mathematical numericals, but the, the purpose of the numerical is actually to help us know that what can be classified as cash and what cannot be classified as cash. Okay, so let's go for numerical number one. The numerical is taken from the Kizo book. Uh, the controller for the Clint Eastward Corporation is attempting to determine the amount of cash to be reported on its 31st December 2014 balance sheet and the following information is provided to us so there are information material like 12 different informations are provided to us and we are actually required to compute the amount of cash that could be reported on the Eastwards com company balance sheet at December 31st 2004 so in short we had to uh, find the cash balance that how much balance or amount of cash can be written in the balance sheet of the eastward company okay so let's go uh, uh, transaction by transaction the first information that we have is that there is a commercial saving account so commercial saving account is a saving account actually of six lakh dollar and a commercial checking account a commercial checking account means a current account okay had a balance of nine lakh dollar are held in at first national bank so saving accounts and checking accounts or the current accounts both of the accounts have these facilities these days that you can deposit money and you can withdraw money as well it's just that they're a little different in the saving accounts you earn interest and in a checking account which is a current account you are uh, titled to zero percent interest actually and in a saving account they have given you a limit that if you go below this level of balance in your account then you will not be titled to interest otherwise in a saving account whenever you want to deposit money you can and you can take it out as well so six lakh dollar and this nine lakh dollar both of this money can be utilized any time by the company whenever it needs they can just go to the national bank and they can just take it out and spend it in their working capital requirements so if you have your money it is your money one second can you use this money spontaneously right now yes I can I can take it out whenever I need from the bank so that's it this is your cash write it in your cash then okay so we're gonna shift this value of six lakh dollar okay and I will use an Excel sheet to do the calculation I can shift the value okay <coughs> So we had a, a commercial saving account worth six lakh dollar. Okay, so we had here six lakh dollars. Uh, yeah, okay. So we got a commercial saving account. The second thing that we had was a commercial checking account had a balance of nine hundred thousand dollars. So let's go for that as well. So we had a nine hundred thousand checking account which is called current account in our terms so that's it so the first one is actually the cash second one is a money market fund so money market fund it shows your investments and investments have three categories one is cash equivalent the second one is short-term investments and the third one is the long-term investments and you know all of them because of the previous chapter Cash equivalent had a life of nine, uh, three months. Short term investment had a life of more than three months to one year. And long term investment had a life of more than one year. So there is a money market fund, uh, uh, okay, accounted uh, by the Vol Vol Volenti, if I'm not wrong, corporation. It's a mutual fund organization. And that has permitted the company, Eastward, to write a check on his balance of $5 million. It means that the company eastward have purchased a mutual fund has invested money in a mutual fund which is a short term but the confusion is that short term here means one year like is it like three months up till three months investment or more than three months investment so actually the investment is for more than three months and up to one year but there is a one one clause here that the company is permitted to write check on the balance means whenever the eastward company needs this five million dollar they can write a check today or tomorrow like that time limitation is not given to them so they're free to write any check so if I'm free to write any check uh, sorry a check at any time so that's it then 
what do I need else? It works like a current account. So I have, although let's say I have invested money for nine months, but I have given the clause of writing a check and taking out whatever I want to take it out. So that, that makes it cash because it is readily available, spontaneously available actually. Okay. So I will write or I will shift this to the cash balance, the mutual uh, market fund. It is an investment. Okay. And I have invested or the company Eastwood have invested $5 million. Okay. Then the second one travel advances of $180,000 for the executive travel for the first quarter of the next year employed to reimburse through their salaries reduction. So if it will be reimbursed from the salary reduction, then it's called advances, employee advances. And employee advances is not cash. So we do not write that in the cash. It cannot be categorized as cash. Number four, a separate cash fund in the amount of $1.5 million is restricted. If something is restricted, ladies and gentlemen then restrictions cannot be the part of cash it could be your money 1.5 million dollar it could be your money but as it is restricted for any reason then it cannot be written or added to cash balance so we will not write that in the cash balance then we have transaction number five related to PT cash of $1,000 so PT cash always is cash $1,000 so I will shift it here of how much $5,000 then we have an instrument of understanding IOU okay so this instrument of understanding is uh, signed with one of the customer in the amount of one lakh and ninety thousand dollars so it's not a cash because it's something which is expected from the customer uh, that uh, the customer has made up understanding with us signature with us that we will give it to you so this is a receivable for the company not the cash for the company and we do not write that then we have the seventh uh, information a banked overdraft so you know that a bank overdraft is a money which you have uh, borrowed from the bank actually for a short term basis so this old draft worth one lakh and ten thousand dollar has occurred at one of the bank uh, banks that company uses to deposit its cash receipts at the present time the company has no deposits in the bank so if there is no deposits present in the bank like the rules of old draft work like this that if let's say i have an account with bank a and i have like two three a bank accounts with the same bank and on one of the bank, I have taken an overdraft. So if I have money present in my other accounts with the same bank, so the balance could be offset it. But if let's say I do not have any money present in other accounts as well with the same bank, or I do not have any other bank than bank account than this with the same bank. In both cases, uh, I have to consider that as a, my uh, like I cannot offset that. So it's my current liability. Then it cannot be written in the cash. Number eight, the company has two certificate of deposits, CDs, totaling of five lakh dollars. These certificate of deposits have a maturity of 120 days. So 120 days means four months. Whatever is more than three months cannot be titled as cash equivalents. They are actually short term investments or in other words, you can say marketable securities. So they are not cash. We cannot write that in cash. Number nine. The company has received a check that is dating 12th of January 2015 and the amount is 125000 So they have received a check on which the date 12th January 2015 is written. And where we are standing? We are standing on 31st December 2014. So it means this date is a future date. And you know that if you have received a check, that cannot be presented to a bank if it has a future date in it. So this check can be presented to the bank after 11 days on 12th of January. So this is actually our receivable, not the cash. Then we have the 10th in, uh, transaction. You can say the company has arranged uh, to maintain a cash balance of five lakh dollar at the first national bank. Okay, uh, to ensure the credit future credibility. So they have uh, 
kind of an agreement with the bank that we will maintain five lakh dollars in our bank account as minimum and we're gonna, not going to take it out so this is my money but i cannot take it out and i cannot use it spontaneously if i want to use it or if i need to use it and such kind of arrangements are made in the with the bank actually so we call that as compensating balance a compensating balance is a restricted cash but as it is with the bank so we name it as compensating balance so compensating balances cannot be written or added to cash amount okay then we have uh, eastward as purchased 2.1 million dollar of commercial papers okay so commercial paper is a short term investment we just want to be clear here that the short term investment life is less than 3 months or more than 3 months so let's see that uh, which is due in 60 days so if it is due in 60 days it means it's less than 3 months in other terms we can say that it is a cash equivalent and if it is a cash equivalent then obviously that can be written in the cash balances actually worth 2.1 million dollars so if we're going to shift it to cash so let's shift it to the cash we got the account and the value of the account is 2.1 million dollars so i will write it here 2.1 million dollars the last one we have is currency and coins so obviously currency and coins is cash because coins are cash worth uh, $7,700 so i will write here currency and coins by currency actually we mean we have different currencies other than dollars we have and coins are the short currencies the the pennies and 1 and 2 and 3 these could be the short one. so if i sum it up it becomes 8 million 6 lakh 12700 which is the cash and cash equivalent cash and cash equivalent answer okay so this is that amount or the balance that will be shifted to the balance sheet of the company so ladies and gentlemen that's how you classify the cash there are a lot of things that can near to cash they're like creates a confusion that it could be cash but they are actually not cash it depends on uh, like the, it could be cash but then you need to check what is it like restricted or not if it is restricted means you cannot use it because cash says it's my money and the second thing it says is it can be used spontaneously if it is needed right away okay it can be used right away which if it cannot be then obviously it's not cash so that's it thank you uh, very much ladies and gentlemen for the first numerical and as far as for the second numerical i will leave it to you uh, you read the it and you have the answer also available in the board like i will do the first one for you like look at this uh, we had a checking account of nine lakh and twenty uh, nine lakh twenty five thousand dollars so checking account earlier in the previous numerical we discussed it that it is cash so if you see here let me like highlight it for you and that's the concerned answer of this also cash then we have a certificate of deposit of 1.4 million dollar and there is nothing other info no other information is given to us that actually what is the maturity of this so by default obviously we take it as more than three months and equal to one year so that would be a marketable security then ms cash advances to subsidiaries of nine point uh, nine lakh and eighty thousand dollar nothing else information is given so it means that advances by default are actually receivables we expect it to receive it back from our subsidiaries utilities deposits paid to gas company okay one lakh and oh sorry one hundred and eighty thousand dollar so these are just these operational uh, kind of bills that we have so we take it as receivables because we may receive it it's a deposit that is paid to the cash uh, cash gas company and once uh, the contract is finished we're gonna get it back from them so that's receivable that's not cash likewise ladies and gentlemen you can do the second one the third fourth and fifth one also the question and the answers are also given by the way in numerical number two you don't need to do this thing you don't need to do calculate the balance why because each and every uh, information here or item here is different it's not related to the same company actually okay so each and every one is a different scenario so you don't need to make the ending balance of that thank you very much ladies and gentlemen stay safe